Hello, good morning to everybody. Connection from Dubai. Here is nine in the morning, Sunday. And well, Sunday is a working day. Here is a working day. And for me, it was every day can be a working day because I love to do the thing that I love to do, you know? Who knows me? I'm really passionate about the things I'm doing. And well, this morning I start at six in the morning, I went to the gym, then my breakfast, I love to have my breakfast, two eggs, and now well, working with some cases before going to the Invisalign Center, and I want to show you, well, in this case that I published yesterday uh, in Facebook, I want to explain you little by little with details, the way I plan it in order to get the good result. As you can see on the screen on the left, this is the case that sent it in my clinic. Well, anterior crossbite in lateral and central incisor, also a crossbite in one of the premolar here, as you can see here in the 44, that is outside of the arch. As you can see, we don't have a crowding, but just a minimum crowding in the lower incisors. But the problem is that we are in the incisors on the left side where an edge to edge occlusion and we have a crossbite in the on the right side where we cannot procline uh, because we will create a worse situation so the idea is what can i do here in order to solve the posterior crossbite that they have in the premolar also i need to solve the anterior crossbite but also to give some overbite because it's something that we can do to solve the, the anterior cross but it's proclining but if we procline a lot what is going to happen we're going to open the bite and probably we're going to lose the overbite so what is the main goal here it's giving a good shape of the upper and lower arts also give it uh, solve the, the cross bite that we have in both sides and also give a good overbite to do that, we have here the king, as you well, who follows my courses, who follows my protocols, you know that for me we have like three, like three basics in orthodontics. For me, the first one is the arch shape, uh, so I have to work with the shape of the upper arch. So you can see here the shape of the upper arch is narrow, asymmetric. So we have to work carefully with the shape of the upper arch because I need to design a perfect shape in order to give a good space for the mandible then to adapt. The second thing, and really important for me, how can I control the lower incisors? Because if we solve the crowding in the lower eyes and we procline the lower, we're going to open the bite and we're going to give an edge to edge occlusion. So the idea is what do I have to do in order to give a good uh, torque to the lower inside in order not to procline them? And the third is the sequence of movement. What is the sequence of movement that I have to, to follow to get the result? So this is the initial, and look at the beautiful result. Let me do it bigger, that I obtained. Sorry for the picture because I'm doing together the Facebook and the, the, the post that I did yesterday. Okay, so as you can see here, look at the good engagement in class one that I obtained. But I solve the cross bite, I solve the anterior cross bite, I center the mid lines, I give a good overbite, I give a good uh, shape of the upper arms. Look at here how we start with the cross bite, anterior, posterior, and then the beautiful result obtained to do this. Okay? That's fantastic. Good engagement, center mid lines, class one. Okay, so. Let's go to see the clean check, okay? This is the clean check of the patient, okay? When we start. In this case, as I told you, I follow, I use 28 aligners in the first phase, then I did a refinement of maybe 10, 12 more aligners. But the idea here is you can look carefully, okay? Look carefully the way I move the teeth, okay? I use this wisdom teeth as anchorage, Okay, and I'm designing a parabolic 
arc shape. The idea here is to the rotate molars, upper molars, at the same time that I'm doing uh, the expansion. Okay, we have to the rotate molars at the same time that we are doing the expansion, and also increase the buccal root torque of the molars in order to avoid the inclination of the crowns. Also, you have uh, to tell them to give a buccal root torque to the incisor in order not to leave the root, because one of the problems that many many times happens. With, this, with these cases here is that the root of the central incisor is in palatal. So if you proclaim without giving back a root torque, you are going to, to leave the, the root on the palatal surface, okay? And in the lower arch, the idea is to look at the, I did IPR, okay? Because what the idea is not to proclaim at the end. What I want is to reduce the proinclination of the lower incisors. As you can see here, what I did is 0.5 millimeter of IPR, I use the wisdom teeth as anchorage, okay? I did 0.5 mm of IPR in some contact points. And as you can see before and after, what I, I use this, uh, this IPR space uh, to uh, reduce the proinclination of the lower incisors and with that to solve the crossbite, okay? If I do that, okay, look at here what I did. Okay, let me show you from here. Okay, what I'm doing is proclining, giving torque, and then jumping the anterior cross by once again. Okay, once again, from here, expand, sorry, expand the rotate, expand, increase the arc, give and give root torque, okay. IPR in the lower arc, don't proclaim the lower, don't proclaim the lower incisors. And with that, this is what I obtain. Okay, the perfect last one, the perfect last one, with, a, with overbite, and we can see here that this is exactly what I plan in the case. Good job, Diego, good job. And of course, you can do exactly the same because this is just common sense, is biomechanics, okay? So invest time with the clean check or with the software that you use depends on the system or the liner that you want to use, okay? because these biomechanics, you can apply that in any system, good system, and at the end, you can get this. And of course, as I told you, you can come to Master Coip three days to change your life. Three days that people from more than 50 countries uh, will come in November, 50, no, sorry, 30 countries, will come in November to Madrid to join Ivan and me, where we're going to share this case and hand of cases to show you how can you plan your case to get the best results. Also, you have the option of my APP in the Ortho Pro in the, Ortho Pro in the APP store, where you can download my APP with all my protocols that I use and apply in my cases to get the best results. And of course, as I told you, Master Coib, the top course with Ibain, three days to change your life. And well, keep in contact. It's my pleasure to share this thing with you. Okay. Enjoy, have fun. I come back to Spain in a couple of days, but we'll, I will be posting more and more and more and more cases. Okay, have a good day.